like, never like, I never like, I never like. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name's Arena, and for those of you that already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back. I hope um, everyone's having a great week, a great day. I wanted to put this video out there because I want to change my channel and I really want to take a, a path that's really, really resonating with who I am and that's really, really close to my heart and that matters to me massively. Um, I have been going through a period where I believe I've experienced a little bit of overwhelmed, overwhelm and back in May, Obviously, we've had COVID, we've had a lot of things happen that I don't feel I processed. Um, and a lot of change, a lot of shifts happen within us as people, as human beings, when the pandemic hit and we had to kind of go through that whole process. Now, for me, uh, lots of good things came out of it. I'm very, very blessed and very, very grateful. But one of the other things I realized is that uh, as I came out of COVID and out of the whole pandemic thing, I started to, out of my gratitude, and I'm a very positive person and sort of want to go with things and whatever, I slowly but surely got back into a routine where I stopped looking after myself. And when I say looking after myself, I, I mean, I stopped putting myself and what's really important to me first. And as things started to open up, as people started to do things, as I was out working again, I was so, so grateful for these things, but I very slowly but surely forgot what keeps me grounded. Um, and if someone said, come out and do this, or if someone said, you know, book these appointments, I would be very much like, yes, yes, yes. Um, at the cost of starting to say no to myself and to the very things that have, that I've come to learn about myself and that I know are good for me. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I felt a level of overwhelm back in May of 2023. I experienced, um, I'm going to call it, to me, it's like a health issue because things were happening that I really didn't feel, um, they were out of my control. So things like, I hate using terms like this, but basically I had anxiety and I had some panic attacks and I'd wake up in the night and feel sort of panicked and things like that. Now that's not normal for me. It's not something I've really suffered with in the past, not that I know of. Um, so they were very much um, an expression of obviously me feeling stressed out and taking on too many things and that sort of thing. And it's settled a lot since then. I'm still kind of getting 100% back to normal, but I came to realize that it's really important not to compromise on my own health and keeping myself grounded. And before I put anyone in anything else first, it's really important to try and remember what I have to say yes to for myself before I start saying yes to other things for other people. And recently I've kind of listened to things and things that have resonated with this sort of feeling that I've got now that I have to remember to put myself first so that my cup is full and then I can overflow and give to others and you know give the best of myself out there rather than me giving out of an empty cup um that's never going to be a good recipe so what I wanted to share with you guys is, as my YouTube family is if you are experiencing you know any sort of level of overwhelmed or anxiety or stress or anything like that there are a few things that I have done for myself since particularly this, this year, really, that I feel have really helped me navigate this sort of period that I've experienced. I'm very much, I'm a very grateful person. So I work really hard and I do want to make other people happy and I don't want to let people down. And I do want to be the best at everything I do, whether it's being a friend, whether it's at work, whether, you know, whatever it, it is that I want to do, I have to give 150% and that's not always, um, that's sometimes to my detriment because the only person that doesn't seem to get that consistently is myself. So this year I've really come to realize that I have to give 100% to myself first and then give, you know, to other things. Um, but if I can do that for myself, then I'll be so much better at the other things and I'm not going to be 
kind of running myself into the ground by trying to do too much. So the, the core of this video is there's a couple of things that I have recently um, seen, heard, listened to that you may find useful. There is a lady, a woman, a girl called Layla Hormozy. I think that's her name. I might have said it wrong, but she is in the business sort of YouTube social media field. She's an amazing, amazing young woman. Um, and she talks a lot about business, but she sometimes shares, you know, things how to keep your self grounded and how to make good decisions and things like that. But recently she posted something about overwhelm and it really um, resonated with me because she was essentially saying, and I'm not, I'm paraphrasing here, but she was saying overwhelm is not that you're doing too much, is that you're doing too much of the wrong things or too many things that aren't important to you or that, you know, are probably not big in the grand scheme of things. And um, it really clicked with me because I've got a habit of, of really trying to be everything to everyone. Um, and when I say that, you know, I haven't got kids and I haven't got, you know, like a husband at home and things like that. So I'm very, very fortunate. I have the luxury of deciding otherwise. But nonetheless, I think anyone that's a bit of a, an, like a perfectionist or that to some extent has this desire to to be liked and to be of service and things like that you will find yourself I certainly find myself over giving and over trying to do everything so my the biggest area in my life is work because I love I love 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 what I do and I really want to be the best I can be but I have learned over the past year be, that I have to learn to put myself first as well so because I experienced um, back in May, because I had this sort of anxiety and what I felt was overwhelmed and I, because I just let everything kind of pile up in my personal life and whilst concentrating on other things, um, it's made me realize that I really have to put my ducks in order within myself and within my personal life and then try and remember what's truly, truly important. And one of the things that's the most important in our lives, obviously, is our health. It's things like our, our mind, our environment, our health, physical, mental, in whatever way. Um, because without those things, you know, no matter how amazing you are and how much you put into everything, if you're starting to feel exhausted and drained you, and sick, you're not going to be much use to anybody else. So I did want to share with you guys a few things that I have implemented that I have really tried to stick to and have worked really well for me and I've you know I've overcome the things that were causing me this sort of stress um so I'm just thinking if any of this helps someone else if you're feeling the things I'm talking about then um I hope me sharing with you the the things I've done forgive me too many words I know um may help someone else out there so a couple of the things that I have done that have worked really well for me is develop good sleep hygiene. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I have become really, really strict with this and it has been a journey because some people can't really understand and it may make me seem a little bit antisocial or that I'm not going out and I'm not living the same life that I would have done. So, you know, when people want to go out and have drinks and have late nights and things like that I'm no longer on board with that sort of thing so often I will retire early from things often I won't eat as late and I'm gonna be honest with you it's quite a um isolated isolating thing like only recently I went on a date and or I met with a guy and he was saying you know there's certain things about you that are quite strict and he was trying to say to me that basically I'm, you know, I don't stay out late and things like that. And he didn't really know how to work with that. And for a moment, I thought, you know, is that not right? Should I be different? Should I, is that me not being the same as everyone else? And is that wrong? And I walked away from that thinking, do you know what? No, because I know that's what makes me feel good. And that's what makes me feel right and I'm going to be able to give the world the best of me because I'm taking care of myself in the way I need to so 
if you're trying to do things, that's the other side to this chat that I'm having with you is if you're trying to do things and you're starting to feel a little bit isolated or like you're not the same as everyone else or, you know, it's quite a lonely process. I think that's normal because sometimes when you truly do the right things, you realize that a lot of the people around you don't have that same commitment to doing certain things. The other thing I have done is I've stopped drinking. Luckily, I have quite a few friends and kind of people I'm around that don't drink either. So it's not that big a deal. But I do notice that the people that like a drink aren't aren't comfortable around me not drinking and they often feel weird. That's what I'm going to say. So I've not drank all year and that's something I've committed to and it's not something I've felt the need to go back to in any way, shape or form. I don't feel like it really did anything for me and anything that used to happen as a result of drinking was pointless. Um, whether it was being hungover part or whether, you know, I'd get emotional or whatever it is, there's nothing good that comes of it that I can't create without alcohol. It's usually the bad things that are always an add on and I just don't miss it. Like I love a mocktail. I love having a pretend cocktail that tastes the same, to be honest. Um, there's just nothing about alcohol that does anything for me. Um, so that's another thing that I've done this year that I'm really, really glad I've done for myself. The other thing that I've done is tried to incorporate exercise. Now this has been hard for me because I'm just not an exercising person. So I'm going to be honest, I've not done any, like I'm not lifting weights or doing anything exciting like that, but I have been walking consistently. Throughout summer, obviously, it's really easy to go outside, take a 30 minute walk or whatever. Um, but actually, I've had really bad hay fever this year. So that's not been as easy as you think. However, um, fresh air, getting outside the house, moving, movement. Now, I, as a job, I drive a lot. So some days I'm in the car for six hours plus and it's a really, really long time in the car. Um, I cover a very large area, etc. So for me, I've really had to think about, I'm not getting exercise. I'm not moving essentially. So it's really not good for me. And the more I listen, um, you know, to health podcasts and things like that, there's a lot that isn't, it's basically not good being sat all the time. So I've implemented, I've incorporated 30 minute to an hour movement in my day. So whether I go on a treadmill, whether I go for a walk, whether I, um, go for class, anything like that, trying to at least have a 30 minute minimum where I am doing something that involves movement. I truly believe it's helped me massively and I've committed to this, which is really, really important. Now winter's coming, um, so I now go to the gym, which totally was not an easy thing for me to do because I was petrified at going inside the gym, but I've been a member of Pure Gym for a really long time and I've never used it. So um, recently I went to the gym and I just got used to it and I'll be honest with you guys I go to the gym and I get on a treadmill and I do 30 minutes to an hour on treadmill depending on how I feel like doing it I'll maybe put the incline up uh, play with the speed whatever but I know when I go in and it, I do it I've achieved something and I have created movement where I can't if I can't go outside if there's other things going on um, I know a lot of the time it rains in England so it's not always doable anyway but I, I felt a bit self-conscious as well when I went to the gym and I did a like 30 minutes on a treadmill. I thought people would think I'm mad and I wasn't running either. I was just like brisk walking, but I'm so, so glad I did it. If you guys wanted to take you to the gym with me and just kind of show you how simple I keep it, let me know because I was really scared of going to the gym. I may do a video because... I was petrified and also especially with pure gym they have this like code thing and you've got to scan your thing to get into the gym so in my mind it was like this whole horrible process and I was like I'm, I, I'll probably not scan the right thing I'll probably not know what I'm doing with machines and all of these things in my mind and it's actually really simple so if anybody did want me to do that I might do it anyway but um, I might take you guys to the gym with me and just so you can see. And the nice thing about Pure Gyms uh, is they are all across the country. So, and once you do one, they're kind of all the same, I'm guessing. Um, 
but yeah just finding a way to do some exercise it doesn't have to be the gym maybe you like going to classes maybe you like uh, playing badminton I love playing badminton but you do need another person that's the only problem um, I like squash things like that so just finding a way to move and I'm really really committed to doing this daily and I feel that's really really helped um, the other thing that I've done for myself has been being a lot better with my diet so number one, I have cut out a lot of carbs. I used to eat crisps, I used to eat bread, everything used to be with bread. I used to eat a lot of cakes and things like that. Now, I have, obviously summer is a bit easier, but I have started to eat a lot more fruit and veg. Like that's the bulk of everything I eat. And then um, just trying to go more organic, trying to keep to nuts and all the, the massive thing about this is preparing and having the things you want to eat in your house, in your fridge. And because if I don't have the things I want, I'll end up some, uh, going and buying something bad. Or what, what else? Yeah, I think you have to be prepared and organized for this. And actually, it's amazing. if When I do it consistently, it is amazing. Um, but all of these things I've kind of implemented over time. It's not really been an overnight process, um, but these are just ideas of the things I've done. What's really helped me is listening to a lot of the health podcasts and um, health talks just about longevity, how to live longer, how to live healthier, these sort of things. I'm. It's something that's really important to me right now in my life because I really have probably come to realize that we just don't have forever. And if we don't look after ourselves, there's really very little that matters in the end. And I think I wish everybody to have that realization before anything bad happens, um, which is why I'm sharing this with you guys. It's actually quite fun as well. When you do these things, you feel good about it. And then you just do more of the right things rather than the wrong things. Um, and another thing that I have done, oh, water is really important. I don't drink that much water, but I try and drink at least a liter a day because I feel like that's quite a lot for me. I, I hardly used to drink any water. So if I drink a liter, that's me. I've done well. But if I drink more, then that's a bonus. And I tend to drink a little bit more, um, but I stick to at least one liter a day. The other thing that I really find helps is having a schedule and really sticking to my list. Um, this is a whole thing in itself, but I would spend a lot of time scrolling or just like knowing I've got to do something, but then questioning the million ways that I could do it. And the only thing that I know truly works is just getting up and doing the thing that you're sat there thinking about. You have to do it. It doesn't matter if it's done right. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it's done wrong. It just matters that you do. This is the only thing that really takes me out of my mind. And I have to often override my mind and my like worrying and my questioning to get up and do the thing. And then once I'm in the flow of doing it, it's like all of that's gone and I've achieved things. But the thing that helps me is have like a real schedule written down. And I may not achieve everything on the list, but it keeps me focused. So if I have those moments where I'm like, oh, what should I do? Or should I do this? And should I do that? If I've at least got a, look, a, a list to look at, it will get me to do something and take it off the list. Um, I'm definitely a little bit all over the place if I don't have um, a schedule or like a to-do list and things to just pull me out of that overthinking situation. Um, and again, if anyone wants to share me to share the sort of... Um, schedules that I make myself, how I work my day, things like that, let me know. I'm happy to share with you guys. And that's pretty much it. If you guys want to kind of watch or listen to or learn about the sort of things that have got me to really, really commit and stick to the things that I'm talking to you about in this video, um, I have linked some of the resources underneath and some of the videos that I found mind-blowing and they've truly changed my life oh and the last thing that i'm going to mention is i did the zoe 
I got the Zoe test kit and I did that whole thing. I didn't film it. I really wish I had. It was an incredible experience. Um, and again, that just made me more aware of the way my body reacts to certain things, the foods that are good, not so good for me. Um, it was really educational and really easy as well because I was a little bit, mm, I don't know if this is going to be a bit weird. Uh, but I did it for the whole two weeks and it was something that I will never regret doing. Um, so if anybody's considering the Zoe, um, it's like a two week test and it's a whole assessment. I'll link it below as well. I'm not affiliated with anything under here on, in the description box, just so you know. I just, I did it for myself and I'm a big, big believer in taking control and educating ourselves about our own health. There are so many things out there. There's this huge rabbit hole of people not being well and going to the doctor and getting put on medication and that medication will affect their body in other ways and then you don't know what's causing what at some point. Yes, there are things where we do need to take medication for and you know, there's nothing else and it's diagnosed and you know this is really really serious things but there is so much power in us there's definitely a lot of power in me knowing about myself and listening to my body and learning about what i need to function the best that i can as a human being and i find that so empowering and it gets me so energized when i think you know if something feels good for me why would I not do that for myself? And I hope, I do believe we're in a bit of a generation now where there's a lot of awareness about our health. People are trying to take control. They're trying to own their health. They're trying to do the right things for themselves. So it's a very exciting time for things like this. You know, there's all sorts of tests you can do everywhere. You can buy like hormone testing. You can buy allergy testing. You can buy so many different things that you can check yourself for stuff and know you know have I got enough of this have I got enough of that yeah so I'm on a bit of a journey to learn how to keep myself healthy how to look after myself in the best way and by no means am I saying I'm amazing at it I am not amazing at it like definitely not but I this is my journey and I'm enjoying it so if there are things that have helped me that you know especially if there's anyone dealing with stress and anxiety and overwhelm I think a lot of the time it starts with what's going on around us and the sort of things that we are allowing that we shouldn't be you know things like overworking ourselves things like not spending time in nature things like not eating well and just eating junk food and I know it's not easy I know it's not easy I drive like I'm on the road most of the time and unless I'm prepared and organized unless I take good snacks with me uh, like healthy snacks with me unless I plan my stops so I can go somewhere and buy fruit and veg rather than go to a KFC or a McDonald's or even Starbucks sometimes don't have the healthiest of things um, unless I'm very intentional about stuff like that it will not happen so if anything I have learned and I'm so grateful for this I've learned that as as unsuitable as my lifestyle let's say my my job or you know my my life would be to be healthy I have to work that much harder to make it healthy and to be intentional about the things that I want to do for myself and I don't know, you know, if anyone is listening to this and they're in sales or they're lorry driver, because I presume, you know, they spend all day in their lorries and things like that. It's really, really hard because you can't, it's just so difficult to try and be healthy and try and create the right habits in a situation like that. I have gone through a process of thinking, you know what, is this really bad for me having a job like this? And honestly, any job that's truly sed sedentary, I think that's how you say that, is not great. Um, you have to be, you have to work a lot harder and be a lot more intentional to make your life um, conducive to health. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, yeah, I really hope me sharing a couple of things has helped someone out there. Um, if you have enjoyed this, please 
put a comment below. Um, if you've got any tips of your own that have helped you, please share them in the comments. I'm sure someone else will read them and find them useful. And if you enjoy this sort of content, content then stick with me because this is the sort of road that I'm going down with my um, YouTube channel. I really want to focus on just a better way of living, good habits, um, and that sort of thing. So there will be some shopping, I'm not gonna lie. There will probably be some splurges and things on here, which um, I am a girl, so that's, that's just me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Take care, bye.